Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities morning podcast uh, in today's podcast we would be discussing what to expect in nifty and bank nifty from here on uh, along with the key levels for both the indices uh, we'll also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks uh, that we should be focusing and in today's podcast we'll also be discussing over the rollover data uh, first up just let's have a look at the global markets in trade yesterday uh, in yesterday's trading session all the major uh, us markets that is all the three major indices witnessed a cut on the downside uh, so we had the dow which was down 0.9% for the day uh, the nasdaq uh, slumped almost 1.1% and the s&p 500 was down 0.6% uh, now coming back to our market so yesterday we had the may series expiry uh, so during the day if you see uh, for the may series that is uh, the nifty futures has ended on a flat note at levels of 22488 however it's worth highlighting that the rollover for nifty index futures uh, was significantly higher at 71.76 uh, compared to the previous month's uh, 65.12% and the 3 month average if we see of nifty rollover has been at 68.88% uh, the number of shares rolled marginally improved to 1 lakh 44 144 lakhs as compared to 124 lakhs last month uh, moreover the rollover cost uh, remains flat at uh, 0.64% as compared to 3 month average of 0.63% uh, bank nifty futures has also ended on a flat note in the may series however bank nifty has seen the lowest rollover uh, since april 2021 Uh, the rollover has dipped to 67.66% from the previous month 74.71% and the 3 month average of 76.43%. Uh, moreover the rollover cost has also decreased to 0.64% compared to the 3 month average of 0.73. Uh, the market wide rollover uh, stood at 90% compared to 91% last month. In the latest series the long short ratio based on FI index positions has shown notable downtick which is currently at 12.87%. Uh this was the lowest since October 2023. Uh India Wicks a measure of market volatility has experienced a significant uptick uh, in the month of May as it has surged by nearly 88%. Uh, it is currently trading at a 22 month high indicating that the market is experiencing heightened volatility. ahead of the general election outcome uh, going ahead india vix is likely to continue its uh, northward journey up to 27 29 levels uh, till it is trading above the mark of 21 however after the general election outcome it may witness a sharp correction uh, in the volatility le- le- uh, index uh, tracking the seasonality data if we see uh, over the past 17 years uh, nifty in the month of june that is has uh, nifty has exhibited a positive trend on 10 occasions uh, the index has uh, concluded on a positive note with an average gain of 3.97% while on seven occasions it has ended on a negative note uh, with an average cut of 3.8% overall the average returns for the june series has been uh, 0.77% for nifty uh, over the past 17 years if you see june has consistently shown an average volatility of over 7.56% for the nifty index uh, coming to the bank nifty so if you see historically bank nifty has shown a positive trend in the june series over the past 17 years so out of these uh, it closed positively 10 times with an average gain of 4.01% while ending negatively 7 times uh, with an average loss of 5.63% the average return for bank nifty in june over the last 17 years has been absolutely flattish however bank nifty has demonstrated an average volatility of approximately 9% uh, for the past 17 years in the month of june uh, another interesting point to note is during the last 3 election years uh, that is uh, in the june series nifty has recorded an average return of 0.45% while bank nifty has witnessed an average loss of 0.53% Notably in two out of these three election years both Nifty and Bank Nifty has posted negative returns. Additionally during the June series in the election years uh, the average volatility for Nifty has been 8.25% while for Bank Nifty it has been 6.96%.
uh, potentially outperforming sectors based on rollover data so we feel automobile banking capital goods metal and pharma these are the sectors which are likely to outperform and potentially underperforming sectors based on rollover data currently is the it sector uh, now coming to the technical front uh, during the month of May, the benchmark index Nifty has marked a fresh all-time high of 23,110 level. However, it has resisted near the upper trend line of the rising channel and thereafter witnessed profit booking in the last four trading sessions. On the last three occasions when the index approached the upper trend line of the rising channel, it has experienced an average correction of 4.21%. Currently, the index has declined by 3.11% from the upper trend line of the rising channel. Along with this profit booking, the index has slipped below its 13 and 20 day EMA levels. Uh, these averages have started edging lower, uh, which is a slightly bearish sign. Uh, furthermore, the rising slope of the 50 and 100 day EMA has slowed down significantly. Uh, the daily RSI has also given a bearish crossover and it is in falling mode. Uh, so going ahead from the positional perspective, the zone of 22,250-22,270 uh, will act as the immediate support for the index. Uh, any sustainable move below the levels of 22,250 uh, will lead to a sharp correction up to 20,000 uh, followed by 21,850 levels. While on the upside, the zone of 22,700-22,750 uh, will act as the immediate hurdle for the index. Any move above 22,750 uh, will lead to a rebound towards the mark of 22,980-23,100 levels. Uh, while for the day, if we see the 50-day EMA zone, that is 22,390-22,370 will act as the immediate support and on the upside, the zone of 22,530-22,550 will act as the immediate hurdle. Uh, now coming to Bank Nifty, from the positional perspective, if we see uh, the lower trend line of the rising channel will act as the immediate support uh, for the index which currently quoting 47,900-47,800 levels. Any sustainable move below the levels of 47,800 uh, will lead to a sharp selling pressure in the index. While on the upside, if we see uh, the zone of 49,400-49,500 49, uh, will act as the immediate hurdle. Uh, while for the day, if we see 48,350, 48,300 will act as the immediate support. Any sustainable move below 48,300 uh, 48, will lead to further correction. While on the upside, the zone of 49,000, 49,050 uh, will act as the immediate hurdle. Uh, that's an end of to, uh, today's podcast. Thank you for uh, regularly listening to our podcast. Uh, wishing you all an energetic and happy trading session. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.